Hey guys, so got our wires run. New location for the um, license plate wire. Our lapel pin for our mic. And I have a dead cat, so I'm putting the dead cat on. This is actually a, a wind protector. One hairy ball. <laughs> Sorry, bad joke. Okay, so we'll put the we'll put the bumper back on. Okay, so I have all the bolts basically finger tight, and I'm just checking for. Make sure I have the bumper centered because you can move it back and forth about a quarter inch. Yeah, Say I'm pretty good, so I'm going to go ahead and tighten them up. Our license plate. Our license plate light. camera pop that back in like a glove find my camera cord plugged it in awesome show you guys what it looks like There we go, we got the camera in, camera cord. Uh, we can kind of see the dead cat down in there. And mic cable. That uh, license plate wire is no longer visible. I think it looks killer. So I'll go ahead and move to the trunk, make sure all those wires are hidden. So here's where the mic and rear camera cable come out, and I just ran them. All the way around and then back up to where the back of the seat is and so now we can go ahead and put the, the seat back together and I pulled enough mic cable so the mic is fully extended I can't get any more out because I wanted as much mic cable as we can in the front of the car all right guys so the trunk's squared away um, we got our cable coming in this is the rear view camera and this is the mic cable so 
I actually want the mic cable to come sticking out here because then I can just coil it up and stick it um, next to the seat when I'm not using it. Which I think will be pretty cool because you can't see it. And then just bust it out when you put the GoPro on the outside of the car. Cool. So now we'll put the, uh, the seats back in. My favorite. Okay, my least favorite part, putting the seat back in. seats back in. Remember these clamps that I can't stand? So while you're here, make sure your seat belts are out because you're going to be really pissed off when you put this back and the seat belts are underneath it. So now we have the same challenge as before, trying to get the seat frame behind those hooks, which I hate doing. There's the magic tool. That went in much easier than it came out, didn't it? Whew. All right guys, so here's the, the mic cable that we have left over. Let's say we have about eight feet of it. Which should be pretty good. Again, we could always add another extension cord to get to wherever the GoPro is. Assuming it's on the outside of the car. Or on the inside, I guess, doesn't matter. Some good track time with the inside view. Now I'm just going to tuck it in right here. Just like that. That looks cool. Alright, so let's put the armrest in and do some road testing. Alright, guys, just need to put the armrest back in and uh, we're good with the install. Remember, big Phillips head. And when you're doing this, just find one of the screws, take it like three turns in, and then try and find the other one, because remember the other one's at an angle. Once you tighten that the angular screw, go back and tighten the straight one.
So guys, that was uh, without microphones. Now we're gonna attach the microphone. guys and girls that was a success so the mic for the GoPro works so much better behind the license plate I'm gonna play around different locations just to get some of that um, feedback a little bit better and you might have heard a little whine back there that was not actually a feedback or a ground loop issue that was actually my electric fuel pump so I've decided to make another video of how to bypass the pump so I can have it off and uh, I, I went ahead and showed that little clip at the end of when I actually thought about it at a stoplight hey if I turn off the pump I wonder if you can hear it in the video and you can so solidifies that answer uh, the rear view camera looks spectacular I cannot wait to go to the next car event especially if it's a driving event or a cruise to see what cars are behind me and uh, you know go from there and obviously I'm going to upload that stuff too. So, so thanks for, for sticking around. If you like what you saw, subscribe. Hit the little bell so the bell notifies you when I send a video. So it'll send you an email. And uh, hopefully we'll have more footage we can post and just have a good time with it. So thanks again. So until next time, you know the drill. Build them fast, but drive them faster.